Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of The Hunters, where we simulate the life of a German U-boat commandant and his missions throughout the ocean to sink allied ships. And in the last episodes, we our first episode was actually our last one. And in that episode, we sank a good couple of British, mostly British ships. We were up in the British Isles. Um, in the first patrol and then over in um, the West African coast in the second patrol and both of them went pretty well you can see we we sunk two ships in both of them the second one was a lot larger ships so hopefully we can get lucky like that this time so let's get started first we have to roll for which patrol assignment we're gonna get and we are still in this chart because it is January of 1940. So let's see. We've got a choice of all of these. Now I get to see if I can roll first. I get to see if I can choose it first. So let's see if we can. No, you have to roll a six for that. So it's up to the RNG now rolled a six so on a six we are in British Isles perfect I was just reading this asterisk down here but it doesn't really apply to me so I'm gonna write that down oh yeah I guess I shouldn't have deleted that January British Isles perfect now let's head out so I don't think we have any changes to our U-boat in those years in the year from 1939 and 1940 um, here is the chart that describes oh actually oh never mind we have the same same roll dud rolls how about these charts nothing different with hits how about detection we still have the same chance of being detected once it hits 1941 u-boating gets a little more dangerous but looks like things haven't really changed much so far if I remember right Germany hasn't really started actually fighting with France yet in England um, they haven't invaded France so let's set out on our patrols so we go to the British Isles and for now we're just going through transit not the Bay of Biscay so in our first transit we rolled a 10 we know that's nothing in our second transit, we roll a 11. That was very close to being something, but not quite. It has to be a 12. Now we are in the British Isles, so let's see what we can find. Rolled a 6. Is that anything? I believe it's right here, yeah. A ship plus an escort. So I'll roll the ship, and after we dis after we attack it, if we do, I'll roll the escort to see um, so you're not really supposed to know whether it's a veteran or not just by looking at it so ship is a smaller ship so we've got a regular freighter actually that should be for time of day because you roll that first so it's daytime um, and now we roll for ship so I'll roll for ship and chart three I believe that is still a small freighter somewhere on here where is it here it is yep small freighter so we'll pull a small freighter out of the bag and we need to decide which one it's gonna be and we rolled the first chart still 
So we'll be on chart B here. Rolled a 72. Which one is that? 3,100 ton Eleniso, or Elenico, however you want to say it. So I'll jot that down. The 3,100 ton small freighter. Where'd it go? 72. E L L I N I C O. Elenico. All right, we've still got plenty of torpedoes, so we might as well try to sink it. It is daytime, so we're going to stay under the water. Although, you know what? I don't actually have any of my electric torpedoes. So these steam torpedoes will make it easier to be seen during the daytime. So I'm actually going to try to switch to nighttime. We have to roll uh, one through four. All right, we successfully did it. We're able to follow it to nighttime. And now we are going to do a, oh, excuse me. Excuse me. We're gonna do a surface attack, a night surface attack on this ship. With these four torpedoes. Do we have a penalty for doing a night surface attack? Once it hits 1941, there's a penalty. So in that case, we're going to fire four of our torpedoes at it. Expecting at least one of them to be a dud or miss. That's why we're firing so many. So it's on a roll of, since we're going at medium range, it'll be at a roll of eight because of the night surface attack modifier. So let's go for it. Ooh, first one is an eight. Good thing we um, did a surface attack. Second one is a seven, that hits. So if both these detonate, then it would be sunk. Eight, another hit. Now we've got a good chance of sinking it now. And a five, all right, all four of them hit. So let's see how many of these are duds. I'll do the first two. A three and a two, as you can see right up here. Here's the dud chart. So if you roll a one or a two, um, and it counts as a dud. So one of these is now gone. How about the next two? And both of those hit and are not duds. So the small freighter is sunk automatically because we don't even have to roll for damage because at minimum it's gonna do at least, each torpedo does at least one damage and it would take two to sink it. So it is sunk. Now let's add it to our tonnage. Here we go. Now let's see what kind of escort it had with it. A five, ooh, that's gonna be a good one, I think. Um, that is a trained escort, so that's actually no modifier. So here is our chart. We're going to want an eight or less, I believe. Hopefully we can get that. Oh, we rolled a nine, not good. We are detected in that case. So with being detected, we now roll for, um, ooh, this is a negative modifier. Because we did a night surface attack, we're gonna get an extra modifier on this roll because it makes sense. If you're on the surface, you're going to be easier to hit with depth charges. But anyway, um, we rolled a 9, so that's going to bump up to a 10, which is 3 hits. So already we're going to get shaken up a little bit. 
So let's see. This first one is going to be the big number. That one will be the small number. 41. So that is, here it is, the hole. So our hole has been hit. And let's move that up. Not good. How about our second one? 66. Oh, geez, what is that? Our fuel tank. Oh, that's not good. It's not good at all. Let's grab the fuel tank one. Here it is. That'll make us easier to see. So that we've got one more incoming hit. 64. Oh, that's another bad one. The ones up in 60s are bad. Our forward torpedo doors, that's not good. So that's these up here. Here, one second, I'll be right back. All right, everyone, I am back. I had someone knock on my door, so I just had to check that really quick. But anyway, um, that's right, we had our forward torpedo doors knocked out now if I remember right that's only one door so really we just have two so we can still fire two torpedoes out of here um, no maybe I'm wrong there are two of those though so I think it is two if it gets damaged twice, then you lose both of them. Because it says forward torpedo door, not doors. Anyway, I, I'll just do it once. Um, I'll do one of the two doors up in the front. Anyway, anyway, that's the last hit. So with that, we get to check and see if we are detected again. So we do have a plus one for fuel tanks damaged. We have a plus one for previously detected. So it's going to be a six or less for us to get detected. So with that, I'm going to roll to go um, test depth, to go into test depth which means I'm going further than my submarine really should go into the ocean, but it's also letting me um, potentially escape them. So I do roll well for it. So I'm able to do it without dying, <laughs> which is always nice. And then we roll again for detection. Rolled a six. Oh, and I have, I would need a seven or more to get detected. So test step did help there and we escape that um, escort and we are out of here so with that um, let's see if we can repair any of these damaged parts first off the fuel tanks I'll bring these dice up here now here this right here is where we see oh that's right it's only um one dice I'll bring that back down Anyway, here we go. So, fuel tanks. Nope, those are now inoperable. How about our torpedo door? Also inoperable. I'm going to leave that right there. So, our submarine came away with a little bit of damage, but if we're safe, we should be able to continue. So let's move on. We we won't start skipping ships yet cuz I don't think that's I don't think we need to do that for where we are at. Rolled a 9. What does that give us in the British Isles? Oh, wrong one. Here we are. Nothing. So we couldn't find anything. Let's see if we can find anything with this one. Rolled a 4. Does that give us anything? Nope. Got a 
another one. Oh, 12. That's a special event. Um, let's see what we roll for that. Rolled a 7. Hals und Beanbrook. Uh, good luck. Oh, cool. We have good luck. So we're going to get to re-roll any single dice or dice roll. That's good, and we can save it for future patrols. That's a pretty good special thing right there. So we're going to add that up here to our random event stuff. And I'm going to throw one torpedo of each up there. Actually, no, I'll, I'll just use these steam torpedoes. They're a little bit better. So with that, we can continue to the next one. Six. I don't know how we just manifested good luck, but <laughs> it happened. So another ship and escort. So let's see what kind of ship we roll. Oh, it's a big freighter. Oh, no, that's daytime first. I have to roll daytime. Okay, but this four I'll count as the ship. So it's still night. And the four is a large freighter, I believe. Yes, it is. So let's roll this and see what ship it ends up being. Oh, we should also roll for um which chart we're going to pick off of. So the second one. 88 on the second one. Um, 7,000 Peru. We'll make sure to add the freighter. It's a good target. It's a very good target. Let's add this large freighter now. There we go. Let's see if we can sink this bad boy. Now I think because of our um, our damage, I'm just gonna do a regular. Actually, I was thinking of firing just from underneath the water on medium range instead of a surface attack um, to avoid detection chance, but that doesn't really help avoid detection chance in, but until 1941. So I might as well do another surface night attack. The thing I shouldn't do, though, is fire from both my forward and aft torpedo tubes. That would definitely get me detected, potentially. So let's see if we can sink them. It's on a roll of eight again, just like last time. Seven, we hit it with our first one. Nine, our second one misses. All right. Let's roll for whether it's a dud or not. Oh, awesome. It is not a dud. So now we need to see how much damage it's going to do. Three. So that is two, I believe. Yeah, two damage. So this large freighter is very close to being sunk. Um, we need to see what kind of escort the escort is now. I'm going to roll this. Oh, one. I think that means it's a green escort. That's really good. Yep. So because it's green, it's not going to be as effective. Minus one hits to whatever it gets. So that makes me a little bit, that comforts me a little bit. So on a roll of eight or more, we are detected. 
Ooh, seven. That was very close. So since the target is damaged, we get to follow it for free. And it gets to keep the escort since it's only one ship. So we're going to follow it. Um, we're going to wait. We're going to stay at night time as well. And we'll reload our torpedo tubes. And honestly, I can probably just fire two torpedoes again. So I'm going to do a night surface attack again. Oh, first one misses. Oh my gosh, and the second one misses. Oh, that was not good. <laughs> it was really bad. We missed it both times. It's damaged, so we'll be able to follow it still, but now the escort gets to have free detection. Six. So we are not detected. So we'll continue following it. Throw some more of our steam torpedoes there. And... We're going to launch him at this freighter and do another surface attack. Oh, crap. That's a circular run. That's not good. Um, we have to roll a 12 again for it to potentially hit us. All right. So first one misses. How about the second one? Seven. That's a hit. It's on an eight. So let's see if it's a dud. Oh, it's not a dud. Awesome. Um, time to see how much damage it's going to do. One. So that would be four damage. So this freighter is definitely sunk. Which is great for us. Oh, wrong thing. So the 7,000 ton Peru is now sunk. There we go. Now we're going to roll for another. I'm going to reload these torpedoes really quick. Now we get to roll for another um, detection. So we rolled a 7. He had to roll an he had to get an 8 to detect us. So we are off scot-free. So with that, we are going to continue along. Actually, it looks like we're almost done. We are in the transit zone. Oh, a 2. That's not good. In transit. Oh, that's a capital ship. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's actually, that could be good. We basically only got crappy torpedoes left. So we need to see what kind of capital ship it's going to be. Um, I believe we roll a D100, or maybe it's a D10. No, I think it's a D10. There's not as many capital ships in the Hunters compared to Silent Victory. Yeah. So let's see. We rolled a five. So, oh, so it's a battleship. Three one one zero oh, zero zero BB. Bar him. Now, if we sink this ship. We actually get, um, we get a, the honors, the medal pretty much straight off the bat. So the bar ham, here it is. We only need five damage to sink it. I guess they're all five damage. It's different in Silent Victory 2. The capital ships are different levels. So let's take that off. And let's see, let's take a look at this chart. So if, hmm, 
we get pretty good hit chance. Um, yeah, we'd get a pretty good hit chance to hit the ship. But we'd also get a pretty big detection chance too. So I'm going to do a surface torpedo attack, but from far away. That'll be my first one. Oh, I never did roll for time of day, actually. Oh, so it's actually daytime. And you can't follow capital ships, I don't think. Because they're too fast, and they'll slip away if they get away. So luckily, we're almost on our electric torpedoes. So we can't do a surface attack. Hmm. So we'll do two G7A torpedoes at it during the daytime, but from long range to see if we can negate um, some of their extra detection abilities since it's a capital ship. Now if these miss, then we um, we need to damage it if we want to go another round. Otherwise we're going to lose the opportunity. So we are going to be going on a six or less to hit. So let's see if we can do it. It's a seven, that's a miss. Oh, and a nine, that's also a miss. It's not good, so we're gonna lose the ship. It was a pretty risky move anyway. We had, we would have had to fire both our forward and our aft torpedoes at it if we really wanted a likely chance to hit it, but that would have been too risky with the um, the upgraded escorts these capital ships have. So let's roll for the type of um, escort it's going to have. A 5. That is a trained escort, so no modifiers. Other than the capital ship modifier. Let's also go down to test depth because I would like to potentially have less of a chance to get um, spotted. So now to be detected we it starts at 8 or less um, Oh, our fuel tanks are damaged too. I forgot about that. So that adds to our detection chance. Oh crap, I totally forgot about that. So, eight, seven, six for capital ship, five for torpedo during the day. Yeah, see, if we fired forward and aft, it would have been a four. But, five, and then six, seven because of the long range and test depth. So seven or less, that's not horrible odds, that's almost half. Six, ho ho ho, that was a close one. So we escaped, um, but so did this ship. It's all right though. And with that, we are on one more transit zone. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. That wasn't in the British Isles. That was in the transit. We didn't run into a capital ship. <laughs> we ran into an aircraft. And let me just redo this whole thing then. Um, take two of my torpedoes back. Luckily, we only did one round with it, so nothing crazy. We'll take that one damage back, but um, 
We'll take this ship off of our notes because we did not run into it. So, um, but we will do the aircraft thing. So here it is, aircraft encounter. We'll roll again for the um, quality. So it's a five, that's a trained one, just as normal. And we get to roll for this. So whether or not it'll hit us and how many times it'll hit us. Nine, we rolled a nine. So, go down to eight because of that. Okay, I was actually kind of nervous because um, usually high numbers are bad, but no, in this one you won a high number. So we had an eight, so we successfully escaped. So now we'll roll for our second, where is it? Here it is, our last transit zone. And after this one, we are going to go in for repair. Rolled a five. So with that, we are back home and we've survived another day. There we are, we are in port. It was a successful patrol. We sunk two ships. We did get pretty beat up though. Uh, we get two repaired for free. Well, let's bring these down. I believe we do if it's the same as Silent Victory. Most of this is the same. So if I'm wrong, just correct me in the comments. But I believe that's right. And then we have an extra month added to our refit because of the damage we took. So February is going to be refit and March is going to be refit. And with that, we have one, two, three successful patrols. So as you'll see down here, um, we also do get a check if we get promoted. Where is that promotion chart? No, oh, we're going to get there next. So our crew, none of them got injured. Crew advancement. We did three successful patrols, so we get a roll for crew advancement. Rolled a six. Believe that's crew level plus one. Ooh, that's what I like to see. I like having veteran crews. So let's put that down. Veteran crews and um, the expert, what are they called? Like the mechanics, the engineers, yeah. Those are the two best I think you can have on your crew. Because um, captains don't get injured very often. They don't usually get injured. But anyway, um, next after crew advancement, we have commandant promotion. So we didn't have any unsuccessful patrols, but we also didn't sink 10 ships. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we didn't sink 10 ships either. So it's going to be about one through four. Yeah. So if we roll a one through four, we get a promotion. 
Ooh, three. That was kind of close. Okay, so now we have this one. So now there's a higher chance we get to choose our patrol. All right. Now we don't have special per, special decoration yet because we haven't gotten anywhere close to 100,000 tons sunk. We don't get a request a new boat. So with that, that is going to end our episode. It's been over 30 minutes and we had a pretty successful patrol. I'll put that back. But thank you guys for watching. Um, I appreciate your views and I hope you're being enterti entertained by this series as much as I am. It's pretty similar to um, the Silent Victory series. I do kind of miss the big map we had that we could bring our submarine around instead of the um, instead of just this little patrol chart. You could use this if you wanted, um, but you also had the choice of the big map, and I would much rather you have that, but it's all right. We sunk a couple of ships, got in a little bit of danger, thought we were going against a capital ship, turns out we weren't. <laughs> it was a plane. <laughs> um, and yeah, that pretty much would sum up this episode pretty well, but... Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.